Oh my God, Joe Biden. Just let it go. Let it go. Recently, Joe Biden tweeted this. As president, I took action to rein in ghost guns, traffickers, and dealers and signed the first major gun safety law in three decades, helping to keep guns out of dangerous hands and investing to combat gun violence. Now it's time we ban assault weapons. And here is why this tweet makes Joe Biden one of the most toxic, hypocritical presidents we've ever seen. He brags about reining in ghost guns, which are nothing more than guns that are untraceable by the federal government because they were made by an individual and not a manufacturer, which is completely legal. And the whole point of the Second Amendment, because if the government has complete and utter control of every gun made, they can also stop the production of every gun made, undermining the entire purpose of the Second Amendment. But Joe is the last person to be talking about untraceable guns when he's responsible for leaving billions of dollars worth of armament with the Taliban. ...of terrorists roaming around with heavy assault rifles, mobile rocket launchers, bazookas, driving around in American-made armored vehicles, and even trying their hand at flying US Black Hawk helicopter gunships. Then Joe Biden has the audacity to talk about reining in traffickers when he was the vice president of the administration responsible for knowingly letting the Mexican drug cartels buy thousands of guns in America and traffic them to Mexico, where they were not only used to kill people in Mexico, but also agents in the U.S. CBS News has confirmed that two AK-47 variant assault rifles were among weapons found at the shootout with suspects, rifles from ATF's controversial Fast and Furious operation. That's the case in which agents say they let thousands of guns be sold to suspected traffickers from Mexican drug cartels. And the fact that he's bragging about reining in arms dealers is pure comedy. Biden, you literally just released the most notorious arms dealer in history. But in exchange for the American basketball star's freedom, a notorious Russian arms dealer, who they call the merchant of death, convicted here on terror charges and conspiracy to kill Americans, is also going free. Joe Biden, you have put more guns in dangerous hands than any of us in the gun community combined. You are literally creating the problem and then trying to sell us a solution to not our problem, but your problem, which is your inability to completely control the American people because of the Second Amendment. People, stop letting these hypocrites get you to give up your rights under the Second Amendment while they're out there passing out guns to every every other person who probably should never have a gun in the first place, but then turn around and tell you, you a law-abiding citizen, that you shouldn't be able to have a certain type of gun. And it's literally written in the Second Amendment that you have a constitutional right to it. But yet, but yet, you'll still let them convince you that you're the problem. You are not the problem. The gun owners are not the problem. The people who are the problem are the people telling you you're the problem. And they're gonna continue to do that until they get complete and utter control of you. That is the purpose. That is what this whole gun control thing is all about. And until people start to actually accept that, you're just gonna keep giving away rights and giving away rights. And one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be like, where did all my rights go? gave them away because you let imbeciles like this guy here fool you out of your constitutional rights. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.